Today's video, we're going to be talking to you about a new project we've started for Pulp Alley, right after this. Hi guys, welcome to the channel and today we're going to be talking to you about the project we're doing for Pulp Alley. You might remember that we've played a couple of live games over on the YouTube, Pulp Alley YouTube channel. I'll leave links to both of those games in the description below. Check them out, they are really, really good games and Dave and Bessie are great hosts and uh, certainly make you feel welcome in that and help you along in the game. All with it with a bit of banter as well. Can't be bad. <laughs> so, what are we doing for our project? Well, that last summer, Mel and I gutted the uh, bunker and that and we come across, sold off a load of our old stuff we weren't using, but we come across a box which had some old Chicago Way bits in it. There was a lot of terrain in there, a couple of, uh, I think it was three factions in there with vehicles, all are made and everything else. And we sort of agreed that we sort of put that to one side and that, because that would make some great Pulp Alley campaign scenarios set in the Prohibition uh, era. I mean, for me, I've always, always loved watching uh, The Untouchables. Not for Kevin Costner. I think Kevin Costner's portrayal of Elliot Ness is a bit, mm. for me, it's Malone. Uh, I think he's, he's brilliant. Sean Connery's brilliant in that. And um, so I've always, I've always liked that sort of style of uh, sort of film and, and action and that. And uh, so I've been going back in it recently, sort of looking into and reading a bit more about the Prohibition era. Another uh, interesting um, sort of TV series I used to watch years ago, and that was the old uh, Stacey Keach's, uh, Mickey Blaine's Mike Hammer. Now, if you remember seeing that, that was brilliant. That was sort of almost filmed in a sort of like a film noir style, uh, very revolutionary for the time when it was filmed back in the 80s. And uh, I remember reading an article, I know I'm digressing a bit, but I remember reading an article uh, from Stacey Keach when he talked about playing the character as Mike Hammer. If you've ever read any of the books of, uh, of Mickey Splain's Mike Hammer, you know that he's quite a gritty and tough character. And they had to, and, and Stacey Keach said he had to sort of tone it down for, te for television purposes and that. So without that, you, it's still well worth watching. And the other sort of series I remember watching, again, years ago, was the old, uh, it was Elliot Ness and that. I think it was... I think they did another series of that or rerun of that uh, in the last few years. But anyway, I digress again. But um, so that's what we're doing. We're going to be doing a sort of pulp, a pulp alley um, uh, prohibition factions and that using all the Chicago way figures and buildings. And I'll spin the camera around and we'll take a look at what we've done so far. So here we have them. First up for the Shelton gang is Forrest Shelton. He's the leader on the left there. Next to him is Smokey Shelton. Next to him, with his uh, pistol up in the air, is John Boy Shelton. And at the back there, behind him, is Sammy Shelton. And to there, next to him is the old Tommy Shelton. And at the back there, we got Maisie Shelton. And at the end there, we have the old man Shelton. These are great figures and that for the old Chicago way. And they certainly do adapt well for playing with Pulp Alley. Um, these are sort of painted up sort of generically and that. Tried to sort of keep them in the sort of Chicago way colors, but they are sort of generic sort of colors really. Basin wise, uh, we decided on these ones that we would sort of go because they're moonshiners and that, and they're sort of like in the sort of in the sticks and everything, sort of with their stills, making their moonshine. We thought we'd go with that sort of like rocky sort of um, sort of dirt and, 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 and sort of like loose sort of gravel ground uh, sort of a look to them. I know Dave, when he does his, he puts his on clearer bases, and I actually quite like that. Uh, but with these, we just thought we'd just have a sort of a theme in that for that for those. The federal agents and probably the gangsters will do more sort of like in town, sort of pavement struck sidewalks, sort of pathways, and that use some green stuff, and then sort of mold some green stuff and that for the uh, for the bases. But more on that as well as we do. We're still undecided on that in a moment. So I'll just spin these up so you can have a sort of a look. Excuse my hand a minute. Uh, excuse the noise, the actual uh, motor of the uh, turntable there. But yeah, these are really nice figures. And as I said, I, I, I think they painted that really well and they, they do lend themselves to the game. And uh, normally what you have in a gang, uh, you have sort of like, I think it's 10 points to spend. Leaders, four points. Um, and then you've got your sidekicks and your followers and your allies and they're worth so many values. And you pick your, your league up to 10 points and, um, and then play your game. And as you more campaigns you play, obviously you could increase that slightly, um, or you can give extra abilities and that to your characters. 
But uh, there they are, guys. These are coming around now. They are, they're really nice, and I say they do fit the bill, and they fit in obviously with the foreground Chicago Way buildings really, really well. Uh, I've got a couple of those to show you shortly. Let's make this and come round, and then I'll spin the camera up for show you a couple of the buildings. So here we have them, guys. Two of the buildings from the foreground Chicago Way uh, range along with obviously to fit in with the figures and that the Great Escape games produced. We're actually repurposing these builds, as I said before, for playing our Pulp Alley games. These are really, really nice buildings. They go together relatively well, in, you know, relative ease and that. Uh, some, of the, some of the instructions and that are, you've got to sort of think about sometimes. All the doors open, obviously with the patented foreground uh, door hinge and that on there. But one thing I really do like about these buildings is like the little details that you can add, like with the posters and bits and pieces which we've stuck on on various points around the old Fortaras and obviously with the uh, tobacconists there. And they are they are really good. That, I think that creates character and that, and that certainly when you're playing your games, you can sort of look up and see these little posters and that in the game. Really good. Roofs come off of the buildings, and again, you can get your figures in there, sort of create your pulp alley, sort of plot points and that in there, and you have to go in there, sort of interactions and things like that, which I think would be really good. Um, you know, you can sort of imagine, like, you know, there, there's been a sort of a smuggling run of moonshine coming out the back of the old field tires and that, and you've got to go in there and sort of get, get the plans or get, 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 you know, intercept some sort of, intercept them sort of doing the, uh, doing the smuggling run, like, you know, really, really good fun. So there we have it, guys. This is part one of this project build. Brilliant, um, brilliant sort of setting to play it in. I really do like the foreground buildings. They are, they do add to uh, the character and that of, of playing this game. And as I said, in, in time, in the next sort of project build, we'll do some more buildings with figures and that. So again, it's, you can get a sort of a balance between what's going on. And um, so project part two, hopefully, ooh, We'll put out the next faction, probably the Federal Agents, I would imagine, and then obviously it would be the gangsters after that. We didn't ever buy the um, the police. Uh, I can't remember. No, they're not in the box. No, we didn't buy those. But, um, but yeah, using uh, Sally Forth, I probably remember actually, Sally Forth actually produced a set of Pulp Alley faction cards using for the Chicago Way figures. And we picked up uh, the Federal Agents and the Moonshiners, which they've dubbed the name the Shelton Gang. <laughs> and uh, yeah, look, they are really good. They've, they've painted up the miniatures, took photos of the miniatures, and then they've added their own stats and bits and pieces and that, like as you would do for, for their creating Pulp Alley Leagues. They don't do, as I said, they don't do the police or the gangsters. Now, Sally Forth, if you're watching, please consider go back and actually do the other two factions and that, and then you've rounded out the whole game. Um, and I think that would be fantastic and that would be really good. As the quality of what you've done so far on these character decks are brilliant. Um, so without further ado guys, stay tuned for the next episode. And if you're new to the channel, thank you very much for subscribing to us. And if you're saying you're new to the channel, you've not seen us before, please consider subscribing, sharing our videos and liking them because it all helps the channel out and helps us grow and actually gets us out there and showing off even more. We aim not to monetize our channel with Patreon or anything like that. We're trying to keep it as a free channel because that way it separates it from me from my job and doing this as a hobby because it's, it's, it's a hobby for me. You know, it's a bit of fun. It's me sharing our hobby with you guys and hopefully you guys enjoying what we're doing and wanting to see more of what we're doing. So if you're new to the channel, guys, please consider subscribing, sharing our videos. And until next time, guys, please stay safe and happy wargaming.